Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, one stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about uh, CCAH or Cloudera Certified Administrator of Apache Hadoop. As part of this video, under the first uh, uh, um, learning category HDFS, we will see um, the learning objective, identify current features of computing systems that motivate a system like Apache Hadoop. So you you might be familiar with RDBMS, which is Relational Database Management System, and RDBMS is actually implemented based on uh, code rules. Um, there are there are twelve of them, and those rules are primarily defined for operational and transactional applications. So when I say operational and transactional, uh, the examples are uh, uh, the use cases which typically involve in payments. Um, where multiple tables will be updated and committed as one unit or rolled back as one unit. Uh, in, in the critical applications where payments are involved, if uh, transactions does not commit or roll back as one unit, then uh, the, uh, the, data, the data in the database will be in inconsistent state and it can cause a significant impact to the business of the companies. So to primarily tackle uh, the issue of uh, uh, transactions to be committed or rolled back um, as a unit, Cod has defined these 12 Cod rules, 12 rules. Okay, and uh, because RDBMS is primarily for transactional based system, they are not very efficient for batch processing, and uh, they are not linearly scalable. The reason for both is that um, RDBMS has a lot of overhead while performing operations. So if you are familiar with uh, databases like Oracle, MySQL and all, you typically create a table, you will uh, first define the structure and by creating the table and then you load the data into the table. While creating the table, you define the column names, data types like integer, var, char and all those things and also you define the precision of uh, uh, the columns like you can give uh, first name of an individual to be at max 30 characters last name can be at max uh, 15 characters uh, something like that so you can define uh, conditions while loading the data or constraints while loading the data uh, on top of uh, th those uh, typically rdbmss are normalized you will have parent table, child table relationships and uh, whenever you insert a row in the child table, uh, the da database, the underlying database or the underlying RDBMS uh, uh, product has to ensure that there is a corresponding record in the parent table. That uh, those things has to be validated by database. Those features such as uh, uh, data integrity checks, um, and also uh, the transactions are, are required for transactional based systems and that overhead is acceptable. Uh, but when you try to deal with uh, huge data sets, that overhead will uh, hamper the per uh, will, will hamper the performance of the database to scale linearly. So, because of the overhead I, I have explained earlier, um, RDBMSs are typically not very efficient for batch processing and they are not linearly scalable. So, then there are some uh, technologies such as memcache, coherence, etc., which are in memory grid computing. They are not, uh, even though they, they are per performance wise, they are very good, um, but they are very rigid. Uh, they are not robust or uh, uh, flexible uh, for most of the use cases. And then there are systems like Teradata, Aster, uh, Greenplum, Vertica, which are called as massively parallel processing. And they work well um, uh, for the, the batch processing and also they are relatively scalable compared to relational databases. But the problem with them is uh, uh, they are uh, expensive appliances 
and also they can only process structured data they cannot structure and uh, they cannot process unstructured data they are very expensive and they work well for the uh, for the batch processing use cases um, and they are relatively scalable but uh, the problem is uh, they they don't work with uh, semi structured or uh, unstructured data very well and also um, if you want to perform certain uh, re, um, real time operations on uh, on on these uh, mpp parallel processing systems you will have some issues as well so for these reasons uh, we need uh, systems like hadoop which are low cost they they are cost effective they are not very expensive they work, it works on commodity hardware and the operating system sorry the software is mostly open source and they have there are many technologies that are evolving for specific purposes and a uh, lot of uh, support is available from open source communities um, which is addressing most of the issues that are um, and that are not addressed with these uh, current systems such as rdbms in memory grid computing ma massive parallel processing this slide covers the difference between traditional rdbms and hadoop typically we Uh, we will have a few gigabytes to hundreds of gigabytes to few terabytes in traditional rdbms in hadoop typically it will be in petabytes uh, traditional rdbmss are both interactive and batch it works well for small batches hadoop is typically for large uh, large batch processing systems it but it also works for uh, real time operational systems where transactions are not involved so there are tools like hbs as part of hadoop ecosystem which can uh, uh, take care of certain use cases where real time operations are required updates read and write many times so traditional rdbms are designed for read and write many times whereas hadoop is primarily write once and read many times uh, traditional rdbms have static schema structure you will uh, define the structure of your data by creating the table and then uh, uh, while loading the data the rdbms will take care of enforcing the structure on the data if uh, the data is uh, out of uh, sync uh, with the uh, structure then it will complain hadoop it has dynamic schema and it will not enforce the schema while loading the data data integrity is is very high in traditional rdbms in hadoop data integrity is low or uh, in some cases it's not there at all traditional rdbmss are typically non linear uh, in terms of scaling whereas the hadoop can scale linearly for most of the use cases in some cases it might not be linear but it can give best performance by scaling better than rdbms databases okay so that being said uh, that is it so these are the current features of computing systems and that motivate a system like apache hadoop so apache hadoop is open source it it runs very well on commodity hardware it is resilient it is fault tolerant um, all those things you will understand over, uh, over the complete syllabus for now uh, just uh, understand what are the features of computing uh, and the current computing systems uh, which are not uh, uh, so what are the features of current computing systems and what are the limitations uh, and uh, uh, how apache hadoop uh, can mitigate those limitations okay so uh, the, the way hadoop mitigate the is by using these features so we have distributed file system in hadoop we have distributed processing um we have uh, means the processing happens leveraging the data locality which means that the code will go to the data again that will be covered when we actually discuss about map reduce uh, later uh, in typical databases uh, data comes to code but in hadoop code goes to data and which is called as data locality and uh, it is highly scalable it supports structured unstructured and semi structured data uh, apache hadoop is cost effective because uh, um, uh, most of the softwares are open source and it is proven on commodity hardware so you don't have to 
uh, invest a lot of money on enterprise class hardware to run hadoop based systems so these are missing on traditional systems if you take the example of mpp even though performance might be on par with hadoop or even sometimes better than hadoop it uh, requires lot of investment one example is 3 uh, 4 years back teradata used to cost around 125000 dollars per ter uh, terabyte of uh, capacity whereas uh, hadoop uh, used a cost around 5000 to 15000 dollars per terabyte so there is huge cost difference because hadoop is uh, open source and also it uh, runs on commodity hardware so that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about certifications or big data please join my linkedin groups called itvarsity hyphen certifications or itvarsity hyphen big data and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see lot more content like this over time thank you bye